Hey everybody, what's up? I'm DJ Sixsmith. You're watching the Sit Down. Cheeto Wokocha is here with us. Sisters on BET. It's been a great one for him. Cheeto, what's up, man? How's it going? Everything's good. How are you? I'm doing great. You've had a really awesome career so far, but Sisters has obviously been a big one for you. What has been the craziest part of the experience when you think about it so far? Oh my God. I mean, uh, life has been life changing. You know what I mean? You just work so hard to become an, an actor and get a chance to be on TV and, and, and live the dream. And I think the craziest part so far has just been the fan interaction, you know, just kind of getting recognized walking down the street or whether it be in a grocery store or whatever. And I don't really have the most popular characters. So I kind of get some different remarks towards me, but um, you know, I take it in stride and it just comes with the territory. Do you remember the first time that you were recognized for the show? Yeah, yeah, I do. It was, uh, I was actually at the grocery store and the lady behind me was like, oh my God, I can't stand you. And I just like <laughs> looked over and then like everyone in line kind of looked over and I was like, huh? And she was like, you know, the, your, your guy was shut up. Like, oh, and then you talk, but it was just, it was just my first time being like, what, I, I don't even know you lady. So it was, it was funny. There's no even preamble into that. It's just like, I can't stand you. Not like, I oh, I love the show. I can't stand your no, character. It, like, it's just like, can't stand you. And then people have to decipher, did this guy just do something? Like, what did he do? Like, what's going on? So, <laughs> so to that end, what's it like playing a character that's not necessarily a fan favorite in that sense? It's, it, it, I mean, it's a lot of fun, I guess. You know, I mean, for, for me, the character is so far from who I am as a person. So obviously it allows me to, you know, have a lot of fun and be creative and, really create something that, you know, creates this roller coaster experience for the fans to where it's a lot of love, hate, like they don't know whether they want to root for me or even if they don't want to root for me, they kind of still a form of attachment there. So, um, but it's relatable. You, you try to create something that people kind of can identify when they think of people they've met in their life. Yeah, you give people a really visceral reaction to your character. I mean, that's that's good yeah. acting as do this show, right? What have been some sure. of the surprises of this show? Because I think it's really resonated for a lot of different reasons. Why do you think that is? Um, like, again, I said, it's just very relatable. Um, you know, we have, we're, we're led by five beautiful, amazing, talented women. And, you know, and they're all different, whether they're entrepreneurial, entrepreneurs, a worker, um, working or um, powerful, like a lawyer in a sense. So, you know, people get to kind of see themselves in it. And then you, you were touching on so many different relatable topics as far as like relationships, dating, um, friendships, um, the ups and downs of that, and then just life in general. So you kind of get a chance to come home, sit on the couch, unwind, watch it and then you throw in the like i said the the the, the drama of the relationship and it makes them for some good tv you are in the tyler perry universe and that's a really special honor what stands out the most about what he's done and just the world that he's created here oh my gosh i mean i mean where to start with him he just he, he's incredible he, i mean you you really see the work ethic when you get on on set and you get a chance to interact with him and just kind of everything that he's he's created and and um i just always talk about like he's Obviously, he's very successful and he's worked really hard, but he's equally does the same as far as giving back and wanting to help others uh, move forward, whether it be in their career or just um, his humanitarian efforts, just giving back to the communities that, you know, he's um, supporting. So um, it's just it's incredible to see and it kind of gives you a standard that you want to emulate and, and continue to push for. You know, mentioning Tyler Perry, he's had so many different chapters of his life and his career, right? I can say mm -hmm. the same about you. You were a college football player. Football was a big yeah. part of your life. How good was your game, man? Like, give me your comparison in terms of who I you mean, were out there. You know, I was I was cool. I was all right. You know, you got me talking about football right now. You get me excited. <laughs> 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 you know, I was fortunate enough to uh, earn an athletic scholarship, and I played at Ohio University, and we had a pretty good team there. We went to our conference championship game. And, you know, one of a couple of my favorite receivers coming up was like, you know, uh, well, I love the Randy Mosses and the T.O.s and the Ocho Cinco's and all them, but they were like six four guys. So I like the guys that are around, you know, uh, my friend. You know, I love like the, the Reggie Waynes or the Tory Holmes guys that can get in and out of their breaks quick. And so those are the guys I really definitely uh, gravitated to. So you're a good possession guys, what you're saying. You're a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I, I could run a little bit though. I could run. I could run. But you know, I definitely was in the slot. And, you know, we had some good receivers on my college team who got a chance to play professionally and um, I was in the slide and navigating that and you know it, it, it was good and I you know I love blocking too I know it's crazy to see say that but you know I, I work out a lot so anytime I get a chance for my hands and for mine just you know force my will on them I, it, it's good. I feel you Cheetah when you think about just your life with football and acting what are you most proud of just in terms of what you built so far? Uh, myself just um Sticking to something, um, I always talk about uh, persevering, and um, I, I wasn't someone who was always the best player on my team, or 
who got all the attention on the accolades right away. I always had to work for it. I had to go to junior college before I earned a scholarship. And then I had to come in and earn my job. And then with acting, you know, I came in a little bit later than a lot of people who started when they were younger. So, and there was a lot of ups and downs, you know, and, you know, switching careers and having to endure and just being like, man, you know, is this, is this going, is this going to work? You know, we, we, we're adding some years now, what's going on, but, you know, just persevering and through this, I'm very proud of that. Just saying I wanted to do something enduring the hard times and, I like to say getting an opportunity right now to uh, forge a great acting career. You're making the most of that opportunity. Congrats on all yeah. the success, man. Really nice to meet you. Thank and we'll you. chat again down the road, all right? Most definitely, man. I like this. We definitely got to do that.